Breaking news this morning. The person of interest in the murder of a woman from Kipps Bay is now facing a charge in connection to her death. Yeah, this happened after yesterday's uh, police taking him into custody, is what I was trying to say. When family and neighbors attacked him while he was being taken away by the paramedics for an unrelated incident, Good Day's Briella Tomasetti live outside the 13th Precinct Station House in Gramercy right now, where uh, this case continues to be updated hour by hour. Yeah, Curtin Rosanna, that's exactly right. Good morning to both of you. And again, this is new information we just received in the last hour. Police have identified that man as 55-year-old Chad Irish. He has been charged with concealment of a human corpse in connection with the Yasmeen Williams case. But investigators have not at this point charged him with her murder. He is currently being held here at the 13th Precinct. mob chased down the 55-year-old man who's being looked at as a person of interest in the murder of Yasmeen Williams. He was wheeled out of his home by first responders, handcuffed to a gurney, and then taken into the back of an ambulance as the infuriated crowd followed closely behind, throwing punches and even shouting, kill him. Get that out of here. The melee happened in Kipps Bay, right around the corner from where Williams' body was found Friday evening, stuffed inside a sleeping bag next to a pile of trash left out on the sidewalk. Police have confirmed that the 31-year-old woman died from a gunshot wound to the head and have ruled her death a homicide. They say the 55-year-old man was initially taken into custody in connection with another incident, but later questioned about the death of Yasmeen Williams. She meant everything to me. It's my baby. She was an angel. She was a light. Sources tell Fox 5 that investigators have surveillance video showing a man in an electric wheelchair dragging Williams' body to the curb. That's what reportedly led family members, including her distraught mother, to the NYCHA complex where the 55-year-old man was apprehended. And she's about to get justice. Only on Christ 17 TV, back upside your head with another one. Now we're going to Manhattan, lower, not lower, but right there around 20, 28th Street, right there on the west side. Kips Bay Park, I used to I used to actually live on 25th and Lexington, and then I lived on 25th and 3rd, so I, I, I lived really close towards that place, but... A lady has been shot in the head, a young lady, and they say this man dragged her body in an electric wheelchair. That just the, the vision sounds crazy. But let me tell you one thing. It looks like New Yorkers want to take New York back. They've been a lot of, lot of, um, how can I say, people ready to attack the people doing these crimes. Which is actually, to me, a great thing. Because we can't allow people just to come in here, hurt our women, kill our women, hurt our children, kill our children, rape our women, rape our kids without people being held accountable and doing our New York thing and getting our justice. Our justice. That means if you got to beat his motherfucking ass and... To turn the cops come, so do it. So be it, so do it, so need it. But this is just another thing of how violent this place is. This guy's in a wheelchair, they say. Electric one. And dragging a body outside to the trash. In a sleeping bag. The mother, man. The poor mother. But all those people out there. That young lady was loved. Those people were throwing punches, saying, get this piece of shit out of here. And I totally <laughs> applaud the community. We got to take out the trash. This cannot be an everyday thing where people are doing, like, evil ass shit. Shooting this young lady in the back of her head for what? Then you drag her and throw her outside like she's fucking trash? Her mother, man, I feel so bad for a parent who loses a child. And yes, you will get justice. I'm praying and hoping you do.
Because any son of a bitch who does some, some evil shit like that does not need to be around. And listen, you go to prison in a wheelchair for a crime like this, you can forget about it. You might not even make it. You might have to be in some kind of special, special unit. PC up for motherfuckers who's fucking crippled. I don't know, but it's not going to be nice. It's just the fact that it's going to everywhere. Like, even Kips Bay is not really, like, a bad place, like, a bad area in Manhattan where a lot of shit happens at. You don't hear about a lot of murders like that. But this day and age, it can happen any place, anywhere, and any fucking time. You know what I'm saying? And for all those folks to wait outside, for him to be pulled out and trying to swing on him, punch him, and, and like, that's just how it should be now. We shouldn't let these motherfuckers have it easy when they're killing and hurting elderly women and children. There's no way in the world it should be an easy ride. It should be the worst ride of your motherfucking life, handicap or not. I can't believe they said he was in an electric wheelchair scooter, you know, the ones that you ride around, like, in the supermarket, and dragging her body to the fucking curb. There's cameras everywhere in New York, so you know that's caught on camera for sure. And he hasn't been charged with the murder, but if he didn't do it, he knows who did it. That's why he took out the trash. And to put her in a sleeping bag and just drag her outside like some trash is fucking disgusting. I couldn't imagine the pain in that mother's heart. The pain in that family's heart. And then to see him being wheeled out to the fucking ambulance because he can't walk, obviously. Lucky that all them people didn't, didn't really get to him. Like they really could have. If everybody would have rushed them and turned them over and started stomping them out, that could have been a real thing. And that would have been justice. That would have been street justice at its finest. New Yorkers are going to take New York back, mark my words, because they're tired of the fuckery. They're tired of all the bullshit, all the evilness going around. I mean, I'm seeing shit that makes no damn sense. <laughs> People are hitting old ladies. People are doing all kind of sick shit. And it's, it's foul. You're going to shoot the young lady in the damn head? These are evil times we are living in. And I'm praying that everything starts to change. And the people take back their cities. From all this stupid ass shit that's going on. All this shit makes no sense, man. And I seriously, seriously hate it. And with that being said, man, this is Christ 17 TV. Hit that like. <laughs> Hit that subscribe. It won't cost you a dime. And like I tell you, every time around this time, we got to take our city back from all the, the stupid shit, the evilness, the people doing shit to kids, to fucking, to our senior citizens, to our women. That's not the way I was raised. You're supposed to respect your freaking elders, look after the kids, and you don't put your hands on women. You definitely don't kill them. With all this being said, man, I, man, I pray for the family, man, because this is, like, I don't wish that on my worst enemy for you to lose a child. I mean, it sucks, man, and I'm going to hit you on the flip side.